you could go back in time to speak to a younger version of you, what age would you be? And why? What would you say to them? Let me know in the comments below. I know exactly what I'd say to the younger version of me. And the picture in the thumbnail, I think I was about 18 then. And I was actually at a uh, PDC Premier League darts event. And uh, I remember it quite well. I also remember sort of remember being 18 and wanting to start my own business, being a driver and all of that. And that's the one thing I'd go back and tell myself. Don't do it. I decided to myself, just get a normal job. Or get a job as an employed driver at a company who are decent, at a company who look after their employees. It certainly wasn't where I went. I'd also tell myself lots of other things, but that would be the main one. Because that job, that business, was the one that nearly killed me. It was the one that burnt me out, it was the business I lost, it was shit. Basically, I wasted my 20s driving around the country, earning not a lot of money, um, especially for the hours I was doing, because it's not just the driving, it's the waiting to get loaded, the being pissed about on the loading bays, the being pissed about when you get there and jobs are cancelled, and all of that business. Well, it's all time and it all adds up. And I used to be out hours. When I wasn't out doing all that, I was trying to go to sleep. I was at home, trying to go to sleep. I would be getting in bed at 7, 8 p.m. Especially in the summer when the kids next door are still out playing. And many a times I thought, what am I doing? But did I do anything to change it? No. That's why I ended up getting burnt out. That's why I ended up getting so messed up however if I did if that didn't happen to me I obviously wouldn't be doing what I do now having this wonderful career where I help people such as yourselves become the best version and for you to be able to run your business run your home as that version but I definitely if I could go back I could tell that like, younger version of me, an 18 year old version of me, it's not worth it, I know it's your dream but it's not worth it, I also know that that stubborn arsehole 18 year old me would have told me to bollocks, I'm gonna have done it anyway, Because that is a big problem for a lot of people. Stubbornness. Especially when I'm helping a client and their main issues are their business. Now I'm pointing it out to them. Because they know. They know what the issue is. But when someone's pointing it out to them, the brain doesn't like it. But it needs to be done. Sometimes it really does need to be done. Once that's happened and the brain has done its knee jerk fight flight mode and all that crap that comes with it, we can then think of the solution. So maybe yes. Knowing what I know, I would go back to the 18 year old me and say, look, don't do it that way because this is what's going to happen and it's shit. You'll cock it all up, you'll make Shitty mistake after shitty mistake. Bad choice after bad choice. Here's how we're going to do it now. And I'd come up with a different plan. I probably still would be a driver, but as I say, I would have been better off delivering for a company who look after their employees, who don't work you to death, 
and maybe I would have really loved that. Who knows? However, also when I was at that age, I wanted to go to Australia for a working holiday um, on a ranch. And I'd researched it and looked it up and apart from the heat, the spiders and the snakes and sand, it sounded really good. Because um, I've always been a bit of a cowboy at heart. I love my westerns, I love all of that. And uh, yeah, so an adventure. And I didn't go. I didn't go, and I probably should have done. Probably nothing would have ever come out of it. I probably never would have, you know, I wouldn't have then become a rancher, I doubt. You know, I'd have come back home. If it were an experience, that would have been for a few months of my life. And I missed out. I made a shit choice and I missed out. When I was a bit older then, I had an opportunity to move to Spain to work in a bar there. Again, I didn't do it. And I did what I thought I wanted to do, be a driver. I started my own company up. Now, as of you know my story, now it went to shit from there. Met some lovely people, had some great experiences. But that experience to turn you into a suicidal wreck, it ain't worth it. To look back at a near enough a whole decade of your life and think, what a waste that was. The friends are lost, relationships are lost. The all because I was chasing money and making all the mistakes that a lot of small business owners make. So what would you say to yourself? What would you change if you could go back? As I say, let me know in the comments. So if you to watch another video, now I'm Chris Harrison, Mindset Self Care Focus Therapy. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye bye now.